What's going on, gang? I'm glad you're here, and I hope you're all doing well. So listen, the overwhelming majority of men in the U.S., as well as other parts of the world, are not super athletes with shredded six-pack abs and massive shoulders. The majority of men fall into the dad bod, overweight, and skinny fat categories. And we're all smart enough to know that there's no magic pill, and the best way to lose body fat is with diet and exercise. I'm not saying anything you don't already know. However, the facts are what the facts are. So the question is, how can you dress yourself right now, today, with the not so perfect body that you're occupying at the moment that might have a few extra pounds around the middle? That's what we're gonna talk about today, and I hope you stick around. Okay, first things first. If you put on a few pounds over the last year or so, you're not alone, so don't beat yourself up about it. It's been pretty stressful on a lot of people. So I've talked about this quite a bit, and the first thing that you can do is to wear contrasting tops and bottoms. And here's what I mean. Light colors are bulking because they reflect and bounce light around. Dark colors absorb light and subtract light, so they're gonna be visually more slimming. And here's how you can use that to your advantage. So if you're bigger up top than you are at the bottom, wear dark color shirts and light color pants to help create some visual balance. Because if you're carrying most of your weight up top, Wearing a white color shirt with black pants is only gonna emphasize your upper half and your legs are essentially gonna disappear. The white shirt is so bright and bouncing light all over the place that it's kind of all anyone can see. So flip it, wear dark colors up top and light color pants. And I'm not saying you need to run around everywhere in white pants every day, but try lighter color chinos like tan, light blue, light gray, or even pink. But if jeans are more your speed, go with light gray or tan. This way you're visually subtracting from certain areas and adding to other areas so that you can create some visual balance. Now, since we just mentioned jeans, let me talk for a minute about trying to find the right fit. Now, I talk about slim fit jeans like all the time because I think they look best on most guys because loose baggy jeans look sloppy and dumpy. However, in order to not run around looking like Gru all the time, there's a balance because super slim or skinny jeans probably won't look that great. Try to look for slim straight or straight cut jeans that fit you pretty well in the waist and the seat. And then instead of a narrow taper from the knee down to your foot, the leg opening remains straight down towards your foot. This helps to visually balance out your lower half. Now this next one might seem a little counterintuitive, but try sizing down on your jackets, hoodies, and sweatshirts. And here's what I mean. I understand that big oversized hoodies and sweatshirts are incredibly comfortable, but because they're oversized, they're making you look oversized and a lot bigger than you actually are. And I don't mean to suggest that you get a sweatshirt that's skin tight, but if your hoodie is a 2X, try a single X. Because all we're trying to do is reduce the extra fabric that's adding all the unnecessary bulk that you don't need. Same goes for jackets, but I'll talk more about that in a second. But before I get into jackets, I wanna take just a second to let you know about today's video sponsor, Scentbird. Smelling good is just as important as looking good. And Scentbird is a great way to experiment and try new fragrances. This is a super low cost fragrance subscription service that lets you choose from over 600 brands. They let you choose a new designer fragrance to try every single month for only $16. Every month you get to pick what you want so there's no surprises. And it's also flexible so you can skip any month you want without penalties. And the cool thing is the samples are nice and large. They'll last you the entire month. And you also get this cool little case that spins up and the vial pulls right out. This month, the ones I got are Tommy Bahama Maritime Triumph, Vince Camuto Terra Extreme, and Vetiver and Oak by Sense of Wood. Now the Tommy Bahama one is masculine, warm, woody, and spicy. Terra Extreme is rich and oriental with notes of creamy vanilla and subtle citrus. And Sense of Wood is a little peppery, of course woodsy, but also fresh. So gentlemen, if you wanna go get your own samples for only $16, I highly encourage you to use the code and the link that'll leave down below in the description to save 30% off of that for your first month. Because for that price, it's kind of a no brainer. Go check it out, the link is below. Okay, getting back to jackets like I promised. We're gonna first talk about sports jacket. This is a jacket that can add structure and balance to your torso because of the way they build up the shoulders. Getting a sports jacket with more structured shoulders will add a little more squareness, which helps to broaden your shoulders and your upper body to draw the eye away from your midsection. Also, the jacket opening and the lapels 
visually broaden your chest, and act like leading lines that elongate your torso, which gives the eye something else to look at besides stopping at your midsection. The next jacket I wanna talk about is the bomber jacket. This jacket looks great on a lot of different body types. And if you're a larger guy, wearing it unzipped and open, once again, helps to elongate your torso because of the long vertical lines of the jacket opening. And if it isn't too cold out, go with a lightweight bomber to avoid any excess bulk. And then getting back to contrast, like I mentioned earlier, try to go with darker colors. And I also wanna take a second here to bring up overshirts, shirt jackets or jackets, and even cardigan sweaters, because all of these can be worn open just like a bomber jacket. Okay, let's talk about patterns and stripes for just a second. And I'm sure you've all heard it before that if you wear vertical stripes, you'll look taller and leaner. And I'm not so sure that's true, and here's why. But first of all, I would suggest avoiding big bold patterns altogether, but I'll talk more about that in a second. But here's what happens when bigger guys wear vertical stripes. The stripes are supposed to be straight up and down, right? But the problem is, bigger guys have some curves. So the stripes start to bend around the curves, which highlights some things that maybe you don't want highlighted. So in order to keep the stripes straight, you would end up needing to wear some crazy oversized shirt that completely defeats the purpose because now you're swimming in your shirt. Okay, now let's talk about patterns. What are some good patterns to wear? Depending on your size, you can do floral or other random geometric shapes. If you're a really large guy, I would avoid the tiny micro prints and go with the print that's just a little bit bigger. The really small micro prints and patterns start looking really busy and distracting when it's on a larger shirt with lots of real estate. So something in a medium sized pattern will scale a lot better and look more appropriate on a bigger dude. Just like the stripe issue, also avoid repeating patterns that all line up because you essentially now have a stripe. Go with random patterns and irregular shapes to make sure you're looking your best. And next, when it's warm outside, go with a basic t-shirt underneath the short sleeve button down, but wear the shirt unbuttoned because this is basically doing the same thing as wearing like a shirt jacket open or a bomber jacket unzipped. It's elongating your torso and giving the eye some vertical lines to follow. And lastly, and most importantly, I'm not here trying to make you look skinny or make you look better or anything like that because there's nothing wrong with carrying a few extra pounds. However, if those pounds are impacting your life and your health, you've got to do something about it. And you're smart enough to know that already. Now's the time to get yourself back on track and get yourself healthy because you deserve it. And with that, my friends, as always, please just take one and a half seconds Tap that like button so YouTube can show this video to more guys that might need to see it. Thank you very much for watching. Live well, and I'll see you in the next one.